Hey guys! Whoa. Sorry. There we go. <laughs> hey guys, so I am here with my 36 week and three day bump date. Yay! I've crossed the threshold. I am at nine months. So, yay! I have about three weeks till my due date. Just crazy fast. Like, can't believe how fast time has gone. Um, but yeah. Um, let's see. Um, this week, um, or today, I had, um, I had a doctor's appointment, and everything went good there. Um, they did the group strep B test, and that was weird. Yeah, but that, but whatever. Um, but good, I guess. I don't know. I don't have the results. Um, and then I, um... I had to go today due to my high BMI. They're not going to do it. They're not going to do the non-stress tests at my doctor's office due to my high BMI. They're going to send me over to the hospital to do those. Um, and which is fine, whatever. Um, so I had that. I had my first one today and he passed with flying colors. He was happy and healthy in there. Just a little bouncy baby boy. Um... I have been definitely nesting this week, um, just kind of slowly but surely getting the house cleaned and everything like that. Um, I did, I cleaned my living room on, my, no, Tuesday. I, I like thoroughly cleaned my living room uh, with exception to the low shelves because getting down and getting back up is not an option. Um, and then yesterday I clean, thoroughly cleaned my bathroom. Um, and then today I was supposed to do the mop the hallway and mop Levi's room, but I didn't. So, cause I was gone all day. Um, my appointment was at 1115 and then I didn't get out of there till noon, so I went and got myself lunch, and then I had to go over to the hospital and lay there for 30 minutes and listen to my son's heartbeat, which was really cool. Um, and, but, so, yeah, I've definitely hit nesting, um, and just wanting to get the house cleaned and ready for him, because he's going to be here soon, like, there's no denying it. He will be here, um, and, um, it's crazy how fast this whole pregnancy went. Um, according to my app, he should be about the size of a, um, papaya, I believe, um, which is huge, and he's measuring good, so... Um, we'll see what happens. Um, I've not started contracting or anything like that. Um, I did have, on Monday, I had taken dish one. Say hi. Oh, kisses. I had taken this one to the vet. And, um, by about... Three o'clock in the afternoon, after we got home from my parents' house, I she's gonna start barking in a minute. Um, I started feeling what I could describe as mild pre-period cramps. That's like the best way I can describe them. Um, and they were just uncomfortable. They didn't really hurt or anything. They were just uncomfortable. And then I was feeling, um, good girl, not barking. 
Hi, honey. And then I was feeling, um, I was feeling, um, like some pain up in my cervix. Felt like an electric shock was going through it. Um, which I guess is normal. Um, and then I would feel like I'd have to go to the bathroom and nothing would happen. Or sometimes I'd be able to and sometimes I wouldn't be able to. Um, so, but that only lasted for about two hours and then we were, then it was fine. Um, I'm going to be, uh, packing my hospital bag this week, this weekend, after we go and do laundry on either Saturday or Sunday, I don't know, and so I will get that packed and have that ready to go, and that, I'm super excited, um, so I will be doing a what's in my hospital bag, um, thing, video soon, um, and just, you know, starting next week, um, I will be walking and doing anything I can to encourage little man out, cause I'm done. <laughs> Stick a fork in me, I'm done. Uh, sleep, it does not exist, um, anymore. Uh, at least a full night's sleep, um. And probably will not exist again for at least several months. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, so I've been dealing, so I had the, so yeah, sleep. No. Um, like this morning, I woke up at 3.30 this morning to go to the bathroom and then I was up till my husband left for work at 7.30 was when I finally went back to sleep. And then I had to get up at 10 o'clock to get ready to go to the doctor. So yeah, um, I am sad to say I am above my pre-pregnancy weight. That sucks. Um, I'm not too far above it but by the end I'll probably be about I just got a severe kick um I will probably be about five pounds over my pre-pregnancy weight um and I know it's mostly him um at least I think um but yeah um he passed the non-stress test with flying colors. He was fine. Um, you know, I, the only sucky part was that I had to lay on my right side for 30 minutes. And it kind of hurt after a little while. Um, but he was fine. And um, so I'm going to be going every week between now and when... He is born to the hospital to get the non-stress test, which is fine with me because then, you know, if I go, I can, if I'm having contractions or going to labor, I'm already at the hospital. So that works for me. That works. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that works. So we are getting down to the wire. I, you, he's very hyper right now. Um... And it's just crazy that he's going to be here soon. Like, I'm, like, so excited. I can't wait to see him. I can't wait to hold him. And my whole family's on, like, pins and needles. Are you in labor yet? Are you, you know, everybody's just so excited and ready to meet him. And so are Joe and I. And we're just getting ready for this little boy to be here. And he will be here soon. And so, um, yeah, what else was I going to say? I don't remember. My brain sucks. I have baby brain, and it doesn't, it sucks. 
Um, but yeah, so I think that'll do it for this video. Um, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Um, be sure to hit that red subscribe button so you can keep up with my pregnancy. Um, and be sure to make sure your notification bell is turned on to make, to tell you when I post new videos and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Oh, I start this week going, um, every week to my doctor to get measured and all that stuff and start getting checked. So yeah. So anyway, I think that's it. So anyway, lots of love, lots of baby dust, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.